So tell me what you do in this situation. You invite some friends around to make them pizza, and then half an hour into the night, one of your mates comes up to you and says, oh mate, do you mind if I use your bathroom? And you're like, sure, go ahead, you know where it is. And then about five minutes later, you might spill some tomato sauce on your shirt. And then you head down to the bedroom to get changed, and then your mate comes out of your ensuite. How would you feel about that? Yeah, you'd be kind of upset, wouldn't you? So that's the thing. Now, people's en-suites are the most intimate places in your house, okay? No one gets to go into people's en-suites. It's weird if you do. But as plumbers, we get to go in there all the time to fix taps, replace toilets, and things like that, okay? So it's really got to be dealt with a high level of respect, okay? So anytime we ask to go in people's main bathroom or their en-suite, we always ask permission. So often customers say to us, oh, sorry about the state of my en-suite. Well, I always reply, mate, don't worry about that, you should see mine, it's shocking. Where they kind of give me the side eye. But it's actually true, my ensuite is shocking. And the reason that you know, plumbers don't spend any time maintaining the plumbing on their own house is because there's no money in it. I'm in a situation now where I'm jammed into a, a corner where my shower has been leaking into a cupboard on its back and also on its side. So it's time for me to pull the trigger and you know, renovate this bathroom. And as a beautiful plumber, we're gonna do it properly. So all you really need to renovate a bathroom, if you're not moving too much stuff around, is a good tiler, a good electrician, and a good plumber. And if you don't want to do the knocking up the tiles yourself, a group of strippers, tile strippers that is. So one thing to remember is that if you want to move any walls doing some major work at your place, you will need a good bricklayer, good um, carpenter, also a good plasterer, and also someone to give you advice about where stuff can go in, in your ensuite. Now, I'm lucky enough to have my brother-in-law, Brendo, who is all those four things wrapped up in one. So we booked him in next week. He's going to make a start with uh, Benny to uh, give us a hand with that. And he's come up with a lot of the, lot of the ideas um, of, of what to do and how, how to do this the best way, uh, moving windows and stuff like that. So anyway, welcome to episode one of the beautiful bathrooms. There's two of them that we're going to do. And um, so after the logo, I'll give you the walkthrough of my shocking, ugly bathroom at the moment with the black mold and everything. And then, um, yeah, we'll just go through step by step on um, how it all worked out and go along. All right, so see you after the logo. Welcome to episode one of the beautiful plumbing double ensuite edition that we're um, going to be doing. So as we go through all the episodes, you'll see the, you know, the, the highs and the lows and the designs and the delays. Hopefully there's not too many delays. First of all, step, let's give you a rundown on the bathroom is at the moment and what we're planning to do. Now, there's actually two en-suites that we're doing, okay? So what we're trying to do, we're trying to keep it really secret, right? But I have three boys and a daughter, okay? So my daughter's had to live with three brothers um, and the toilets, you know what, if you've got boys in the house, you know that the toilets are terrible and they just miss all the time. So she's had to put up with that for, for quite a few years. Um, and so we've decided, well, wouldn't that be good if we use the study that used to be my office um, that I ran the business out of before I moved to the warehouse. We'll make that into a bedroom, cut a, a, a doorway into, into this bathroom to sort of make some room, um, so, so pinch room from this bathroom because it's, it's totally massive, it can, we can do it. And then she can have her own little ensuite and her own little bedroom. And what's nice, she will be up sort of our end of the house, which, which I like a lot better anyway, so that, that'd be great. Anyway, so I'll show you the, my um, ensuite at the moment and um, then I'll give you the rundown on, on how it's all going to work. So this is my ensuite at the moment. Uh, it's, it's, as you can see, it is, it's, it's pretty massive. We've got a shower. So you have a massive bathroom, but we've got a 900 by 900 shower. We've got the toilet here. This area here was an absolute disaster. It was a massive corner spa, but the trouble is the pump was in the on, out near um, El Fresco area and the pipe was run from the pump down and through these little holes at the bottom here. So I've just shoved some sort of plastic in there. Um, and then it would come along, come up, and then come into the um, come into the spa bath, and would, would pump it, would pump the water through, right? But the trouble is, when you plumb it up like that, there's water sitting in a trap the whole time. It's meant to sort of run from the pump and back to the. So when you turn a spa pump off, the flow of the supply and return should all just always end up, and so there shouldn't be any water left in the pump. But the way they set this up, when we filled it up for the first time, put the kids in, let's go. We turn the pump on, mate. All this black stuff blew out, so it was absolutely useless. So. We ended up ripping it out. Um, also in this corner section here, they had a, uh, like a kitchen mixer to fill it up. So there was flexies underneath. So there's no way we could even um, get to the flexies if they did ever burst or anything. So, like. so we ended up ripping it up and it ended up being like tiles under here. So we've just sort of patched the hole where the waste was and 
and left it like that um, for yeah, nearly nearly 10 years now. So a little bit embarrassing and, and you know not, not great for my wife, but anyway, she, she still loves me, which is good. So we've got this massive area here. We've got some double, double vanities. We're gonna put a 500 vanity in here. Okay, so a little bit smaller, double vanity. Floor waste here, we're gonna um, delete that and then join onto it actually and put the two wastes to pick up that. Um, now over here, I'll show you, I'll put some marks on the floor. What we're gonna do is this is where the new toilet's gonna be. And this is gonna be the shower. So we'll have um, a really nice rail shower on this wall here. We'll probably have a rain shower coming out of the ceiling as well. So this area, and this will just be a um, like a glass glass wall. And what we're going to do then is see the blue lines here. This is what we're going to do is move the brickwork along here and build another wall all the way along here, and then take out that cupboard completely. I'll show you the cupboard where it's leaking at the moment because the shower, you can see, like this is after you know three or four weeks not cleaning it that much. It's just built up with the black mold again. So it's leaking in that way and leaking this way, and that's why it's destroyed stuff in the cupboards and things like that. And so we're going to take that, this, this whole section comes out, this bit goes, this, this wall goes all along, and then we're going to cut a wall here, uh, uh, sorry, a doorway out here, okay, and that goes onto the study that I'll show you in a sec. So that means when you come in from the study, you'll have the new toilet here. There'll be a little vanity, like the wall will go back this place, there'll be a vanity with, a, with some overhead storage here, and then this wall's going to come out completely and that, that'll be where the shower will be sitting. So we'll have to get rid of the, our, our map of America that we're, we, we've been calling it. As you can see, it's all coming through that wall as well. So this, this is the cupboard. It is absolutely gross. See, that's all that black mold stuck on. Like when we first found it, we had all this stuff, all my music books got destroyed and stuff. You can see, you know, it's all swollen up. These things um, that you get from Bunnings, they're amazing. Look at that water, it's just, that's just pulled water from the atmosphere. So I've got four of those going all the time. I need to, need, well, I don't really need to buy any more because we're ripping this whole thing out. So yeah, it's disgusting, mate. Like you can feel it on my throat already, you know, it kills you this black mold. So, so we'll be keeping that cupboard, cupboard shut. So that, so this um, whole, whole um, cupboard, everything, that, that's gonna be bricked up. Okay, so we're gonna get that and then, then we're gonna get a bit more space for the shower in here. Uh, and this is where the office is, where I used to run my business out, so we're busy just trying to declutter and get rid of all the stuff, because I don't want to bring, bring any stuff that we don't need back to the warehouse. So I've still got up my whiteboards and stuff that I've been, you know, planning stuff, all my, all my old magnets and stuff that are still up there, so we'll be taking that down. And so this is the other cupboard that we used to store all our stuff, um, uh, all our invoice, old invoice books and marketing and stuff for, for, for uh, beautiful plumbing and stuff, and you can see, that you know, it's all it's all come in here and, and and destroyed the cupboard in here as well. So this is all coming out, sort of thing. So this is one of um, Brendo's ideas. Is he said that we should take this whole this whole cupboard wall, brick, everything, take it all down, and then the bed can sort of go here against that wall. Um, and so this is where so the beds uh, I don't know about 1.2 meters wide or something. So the bed will come out to about here. And then what, we, what we'll do then is we'll cut that, cut this out here and we'll put a, a door going into there. And this will be a little desk area. We're gonna take this window out, um, smash it out because this security screen's horrible. We're gonna get a double glazing window in there. And with a, you know, like an awning or something with another security screen. And then over this side, just going back this way, we'll have some, some new um, built-in robes with a mirror or something like that. So that's, that's that's the plan at the moment uh, to get it all going. So lots of, so it's some major work, major plumbing work as well. Um, but looking forward to it. Needs to be done. I'm sick of this black mold in my house. So it's sort of killing my throat just from opening that cupboard. So it's, yeah, I, I feel for the plumbers that have to work in the places where, um, you know, they, there's a lot of black mold in the bathroom. It really just kills your throat. Next thing we need to start doing is um, we need to get some prepping done for the plumbing. Um, so outside we've got to find the existing drain and then bring uh, a pipe over here to pick up this toilet, this shower as well and, um, and go from there. So it would just be a matter of pulling up paving and then also doing some core drilling through um, some uh, the footing. Now we, we've, I've done that on another, another one where I put a, a toilet in the middle of a bathroom 
which worked out sweet. I was pretty impressed with that one, but I'll put the link up at the top there if you wanna see how we did that. That was cool, so anyway, stay tuned guys. Um, thanks for watching episode one and um, episode two. We'll be soon whenever we film it. All right guys, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you episode two.